They tell us, you know, should, is, is there anything that keeps Allah away from us that we cannot see Allah? We know Allah is everywhere. Allah is everywhere. Nothing could shield, shield Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So why don't we see, we see Allah? Because of our weak iman and we're not strong. It is our si eyesight that is weak, not because Allah is not there. So we have to realize Allah is everywhere. And uh, if we strengthen our iman, we feel Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is close to us. And nothing would shield us from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And another word of wisdom he tells us, for the complete blessing is he gives you what's enough for you, but doesn't give you more to be a tyrant. Because as we, we know in the ayah says, Inna insan la stagna. All humans will become tyrants if they feel they don't need anybody. He doesn't need anybody. And as we know, Rasul said, if it wasn't for three things, all humans will be tyrants. So what are they, Ya Rasulullah? The first thing is poverty. The second thing is sickness, the third thing is death. Even for, if it wasn't for these three things, we're all rich, we're all healthy, we think we're going to live forever, we're all going to be tyrant. Subhanallah. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives each one of us what's enough for him. Because more, uh, the person will turn into a tyrant. And we see this in a lot of examples. Somebody who wasn't well off and had enough and he was great. But the moment he was rich, he forgot his friends and his neighbors and does things you wouldn't think he would do. So we have to uh, realize that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives us enough that we need and keep us on the right track, inshallah. They tell us, how do we know if we have a good heart or our heart is dead? They say the sign is, you, first of all, you do not, uh, you're not sad for missing good opportunities or good deeds. A good deed passed and you say, well, there's no more, more, I have a lot more opportunity. And the other thing is not regretting your mistakes. So if you have mistakes, and we all commit mistakes, not regretting the mistakes. Only a dead heart will not regret the mistakes and will not feel sad for missing all these good opportunities. And the last word of advice we will say for today, even though there's so many of them, they said, whatever your sin is and whatever your mistake is, thinks how forgiving Allah is, subhanahu wa ta'ala. So you have to compare, to compare your sin with the glory of Allah. And only then you will grasp and realize whatever you did is small. And that's why it says in the Quran, Allah forgives everything except the shirk. Everything, whatever we do, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala could forgive it. So they're telling us, put your mistake beside the glory and uh, uh, the kindness of Allah, and then you realize your mistake is small and Allah will forgive it if we ask to for forgive it. And then to put this in perspective, they say there's nothing small if we think of Allah's fairness. When يعمل مسقال ذرة خيرا يرى ومن يعمل مسقال ذرة شرا يرى. If you do a small atom of good, you will be rewarded, and if you do an atom of bad, you will be punished. So nothing is small if we think of Allah subhanahu wa taala's justice, and nothing is big if you think of Allah subhanahu wa taala's bounty and generosity. He can give everything. And this is something I always realize. Walking with a friend in the street, he sees a nice car. He says they will enjoy a dunya and we will get al akhirah. But if you think it's a nice car, why don't you ask Allah for it? Or why don't you say, MashaAllah la quwwata illa billah? As the Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, if you see something nice and you say, MashaAllah la quwwata illa billah, if it's yours, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will maintain it for you. If it's somebody else's, you will get the same or more. Instead, we say, no, they will get a dunya and we will get an akhirah. So here, rather than thinking there is nothing big for the generosity and the bounty of Allah, we think we'll get a dunya and they will get an akhirah. And that's why we should always be thankful, inshallah. And in the future, we'll follow up on more of the wisdom of Ibn Ata'illah, which is just summary from the Quran and Sunnah. Somebody who studied the Quran and Sunnah and giving it to us in different wording or different ways.